Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the C130J and we're going to look at a cold start. When I said I was going to record this video, my guy said, hey, you don't need to bother making this video because it does it all for you. It has an interactive checklist. Well, I tried the interactive checklist and I still got it wrong. It's just a complex plane and you need to be very careful with what you press so I'm going to do this video anyway. I'm going to do it based on just doing the switches that you need to do to get airborne and do a mission. I'm not going to do all the checklists and stuff okay. First, so first thing obviously I'm in a new freshly spawned cold started aircraft and I'm in the pilot's seat. I'm going to press left control and C, left control and Charlie to bring our checklist up which we're going to use but we need to use it wisely. So I'm going to go to checklists I'm going to go to which one I want to do. I'm going to start at the very top, power up. We're going to do power up before starting engines, starting engines, and that's as far as we go today. Before taxi and whatnot will come in a later video. So power up, check. Which realism level do we want? GTA, action, sim, or professional? GTA, I heavily recommend against. You won't be able to do a proper mission with it. You'll literally be able to get your engine started, sort of take off, but not really do anything with it. Action is the one you want. That's Grim Reaper's level. Get the thing started you need to do to do a mission, but none of the Milsim stuff. That's Milsim, and that's a bit more Milsim. So, action level, okay? A quick note before we start doing stuff in the cockpit. There is an option in the special menus you can set to make your cold starts a lot easier. We're out here in the main menu. I'm going to go to options here. I'm going to go to special here. I'm going to find C130J. If you tick this off, then we will not have to adjust our electronic circuit breakers through the cockpit when we're doing a cold start. So what I've done is I've gone in here, I've ticked it off, and you'll find that we won't have to mess with our ECBs, and I suggest you do the same as well. And that will apply if you do it there every time you do a cold start. Let's get started. Oil, cooler flap, switches. I'm just going to check it off because it's not going to warn me where they are, but I know where they are, and it's telling me to set them to automatic. So let's get that done, and we must do that. Otherwise, you're going to have a nasty overheating situation. Here they are up here. One, two, three, four. In that forward position, one for each engine. Next, electrical panel. So it's telling us to go to electrical panel. I'm going to click check down there. Generator switches to on. This time it is going to help me. It's going to say set those to on. One, two, three, four. Presumably one per engine, one generator per engine. Check battery test and let's go there. Battery switch to on. Let's go and find it. Uh, it's up there and battery on and that's our uh, direct current volt. Let's go to the next one. Next, airplane power application. So let's go to the item, which is APU, start if required. We are not going to use external ground power to start, so we do need to use our APU. I'm going to press 2 to go over to the other pilot seat. Pretty simple. Right click once, right click and hold until it starts. You may have to do this a few times, I've noticed. I'm not sure if it's buggy or it's just a timing thing, but we're going to sit and we're going to wait. Didn't work. We're going to try again. Right click and hold. There we go, got it. And now I'm releasing once the green lights come on, okay? So sometimes you just have to right click on start and just simply wait a long time. Um, I've got a master caution, I'm gonna deal with that later. Uh, once the green light is on and it started, it will go back to run, leave it in run. Right, that's that done, so we can sign that off. We have exterior or APU power, basically, the power for the aircraft, do we want it to take, to take it from external power, which we do not have set up? We could do, but we don't. But have it off, as we are now, or do we want to take power from the APU? Obviously, we want to take power from the APU because we've just started the APU, and we can pretty much just leave that. Um, next is a cause message. So let's see what that's got. Lovely things it's got for us. I'm going to zoom in there. It's just asking us to check this screen, number two here. Anti-skid is off. DTC is not loaded. DTC is not loaded. Uh, Magpurs 2 and 1 are unavailable. In this case, I know that they are going to disappear shortly and those uh, we'll deal with later and the DTC we can't deal with at the moment. Basically, there's nothing that's super important there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Next, we're going to go to the ECBs. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, we turned the requirement for this off. I'm just going to prove that has worked and we do not need to do the ECB. So I'm going to click ECB here. Well, it's already done it itself. Uh, I want to put the ECB readout on my screen number one. So screen number one, 
HDD and we can see that there are none that are open so the thing we did at the beginning of the video has worked um, I can remove that from my screen because I don't want it there and the rest we can leave uh, so we can skip all over ECBs we don't need to do all that nonsense next is bleed air panel which is up here it's asking us to turn this on which are, is our pneumatic system so we're going to pressurize a pneumatic system which we're going to use to blow into the engines to start the engines here is the pressure presumably in psi of that system nominal 45 at the moment next trim tab indicators and it's definitely got that wrong because that is a pilot lighting so we'll just skip over that a second there we go and uh, that's the proper one it wants it in normal that's the wrong way because me right click to normal done uh, next we're going to check to the CNIMU I'm going to lock our guy down in position here because this is going to probably take some time so this guy here is the CNI viewers it's very complex and it's extremely easy to upset I've noticed so we must be extremely careful on what we press here but it's asking us to master av on check that it is 100% on Align position verified is making sure that our initial lat long is in entered in this point and it is automatically because it's a fresh start so I don't have to do it thank god so I'm not going to press anything it's done um, and our auto nav uh, is selected already so that's good uh, so that's that it's now putting us onto our next list it's going to ask us to check our oxygen so where's that sir tell me where that is it's over here uh, oxygen i'm going to turn the pilots off it's starting to bug me now go away right shift and papa to do that oxygen is already on so i'm not going to touch it cni equipment back to this dude here iff okay so we've got power on here it's going to ask us to do a series of steps here so i'm going to go step i'm going to do step MC index it asks for so MC index uh, defensive systems uh, we need to set the radar warning receiver on the missile warning system sorry if you can't read this on the TACDS on okay so let's start getting the stuff on master power on that has turned now we've got a warning we'll deal with that in a second that has turned that on that has turned CMDS master on, RWR is on, IRR countermeasures is on. That's turned it all on. Okay, so I just have to be really careful and just check everything. Uh, right, let's find out what the warning is. What do you want, sir? Ah, right. Countermeasure dispensing system has failed. Why could that be? Well, presumably because we've turned it on and or energized it on the CNI, but not physically. So let's go down to our defensive systems panel. Turn a master on there. Um, and what do we, how do we want to use it? Uh, you know, standby, uh, manual, semi-automatic, automatic, or bypass. Manual will be fine. Let's double check. We we'll check. We we'll cleared the error. We've cleared the error. Everything's happy. So the CNI is now agreeing with the physical panel. We can now continue. Sorry if that was a bit confusing, viewers, but I've, I've tried to show that as best I can. HDDs and HUD. It's just saying turn your HDDs on, which are these four big screens down here, and turn them up or down as you want. And HUD is this guy here. If I click up there, we'll eventually get it down there. And look up, HUD panel. Uh, all, all I did was pull the knob out slightly and um, it's turned it yeah. on. Okay. Uh, right, so next I'm going to go to A course. Uh, this is, we've checked this already. It's just asking us to check again anti skid DTCs, which are irrelevant for today. So everything is fine. Pressurization panel, mode select switch to auto. Okay, let's get that done. I can't really see it from there, so let's jump over to our other dude. Hello, other dude. Uh, there it is. It's currently in aux vent. Let's change it to auto. Check. We are getting there, viewers. Fuel management, set tank to engine. Well, your fuel management panel is here. I'm going to encompass it here. We've investigated this thoroughly, including read the, reading the manual, and all of those switches, as they are from default, are in the correct position for flight. We don't think there's anything you need to do. If you wanted to do something else, like if you had a fuel leak, if you wanted to dump fuel or whatever, you would need to start to change these guys to say which tanks to take them from. But obviously, in normal operation, we don't need to, so that's all standard and fine. Next, flight instruments, check them hells i'm not going to do that no nope, don't need to do that hydronic panel guys we need some hydraulic pressure otherwise this ship ain't going very far 
So, first thing we need to do is anti-skid switch. Uh, we need to do the actual pump just to get it up to 3000 PSI. And we need to do suction boost pump switches. Uh, presumably it's the purge the system, I don't know. But anyway, they want to be not off. So, not off. Not off. Okay, um, let's go a little further and check that. And starting engines, power levers. It's asking us to put them in ground idle. Our four power levers are indeed in ground idle. It's asking us, do you want low speed ground idle? Um, as far as we can tell, that restricts the power essentially when you're on the ground. And it's probably a good idea to put them on, but Grim Reapers, it's not really a Grim Reapers thing, is it? We like to break all of the rules, so we're not gonna do it. Exterior lighting is gonna be an exterior lighting panel. Again, not very Grim Reapers. I don't care if my lights are on or off, fine. And start some engines, that's something I do care about. First thing we have to do is check that we're over 40 PSI or 40 units on our pneumatics and we're at 47. So we can start, uh, as we saw before, right click once, right click and hold, wait till the green light's on. And it's on, leave it and run and check our engine. Guys here, you'll be able to see that increasing. If that wasn't on, you could go to engine there and put it on whichever screen you want there. But we're gonna leave that. Got our temperature, got our taco everything we need. Right, uh, that's done. Next, start the next engines, which are up there in the order of four, two, and one. First, make sure we've got the PSI to do it. Pneumatic PSI is 74. It's now boosted by the engine, obviously, so we're going to be fine. Four, go. All right, beautiful. And we can probably check. Yeah, we're good. Straight on to two. And one. Whammy boom boom, done, next. Uh, APU bleed air switch closed, so we don't need our pneumatic system anymore, it's done its job. Interestingly, I don't know if you need to turn it back on to start, restart the engines, I don't know, we'll find out one day. Off pneumatics, you've done your job, goodbye. Next, air conditioning panel, oh, how about that? Can't do without aircon. On, for me, oh, that's not right, try again. Yeah, they want to be not off. And the cargo compartment, not off, AC for you go and go and that's it we did it viewers so all we did was do the action difficulty of power up before starting engines starting engines uh, we just need to do a sanity check now and make sure we think everything worked so back in here any errors no 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 the only errors here are anti skid is off which is weird because I've actually turned it on so I guess we'll ignore that and the DTC which is not relevant for today engines look good everything looks good no error messages no master warnings uh, that's my lot. There is some other stuff we'll need to do before taxiing, but I figured we'd probably put that in the next video, so just bear that in mind. I hope you enjoyed that, viewers, and bye-bye.